Hey guys, welcome to my Super Mario tutorial on pointers. I'm going to be running you through some pointers today um, for use within the main function and beyond. Um, you're going to have to pay attention to this tutorial because it's going to be complicated. When it says now you need to really try and understand what I'm saying. Okay, so let's have a quick lesson on computer architecture first. Right. Very, very simple. Basically, uh, this is what um, uh, this is what the pointer looks like. The pointer variable. Um, that's uh, that's what it looks like to you, and its value is one thousand, as declared by this statement here. Okay, so what's going on? Um, X becomes the address of Y. So the value of uh, the variable x, uh, pointer x, um, sorry that's completely wrong, um, x equals the address of y, um, what's going on here is x is a pointer, y is a variable, and the ampersand basically states that we don't want the value of y, we want the address of y. This is the address of y. Okay. Um, we want the address of y to be shoved into x, so it goes in here. Okay. And then um, what happens when we do um, star x equals five is we're saying um, we want the value at the address one thousand to become five. Okay. So at the moment it's zero, uh, but when we do this, we're saying that we want to dereference um, x and make it five. So pointer x. Uh, look at the uh, go into the value of x, which is a thousand. Uh, treat that as an address and change the value at that address, so it becomes five. Okay. Let's compile the program to make sure it runs. Uh, run pointers. Make sure you format your program, which I always forget to do. But as you can, uh, as you probably saw, it worked fine. So y is zero. Um, x becomes the address of y. So uh, x points to y. And then x equals five, done, like so. So that's all good. That works fine. If you understand that, then I suggest you replay this, and listen to it again, and then do it again and again, just to make sure. Um, check out Wikipedia. Um, you know, just make sure you get this uh, concept nailed. 
narrowed down the pointers. So now that we've done that, let's uh, apply functions in this uh, in this glory. Okay, so we're doing x equals the address of y, but same deal. But we're going to do uh, change. it's going to pass through the address of y. Okay. Um, this is how we change um, variables. This is, this is how we change the value of a variable which is local to one function whilst calling it from another. So we're changing the value of a variable from um, a function it didn't originate in. And as I showed you in my last video, you can't do that um, unless you're using pointers. So we have in change and it's a pointer and all we have to do is x equals 5 and to prove it works we'll print it off uh, y and we'll save that run it and it works fine ok uh, just to prove that it the uh, function did actually change something uh, let's do that. Okay, so that worked fine. Um, this is passing by reference. Um, and this is how you change um, the value of a variable which is not local to the function you want to manipulate it from. So we're manipulating a, um, a, ver a, a variable which is not local to this function. It's local to this function but we're doing it nonetheless because we're using pointers. And this is what pointers are used for. Um, one of uh, numerous applications of pointers. And that's what I'm going to cover in this tutorial because your head's probably exploded.